So Libra, you know, this person, whoever it is that's showing up in your reading, they're showing up as the seven. Um, it's like they put in work, but they're just not sure how to um, make this or turn this into what it is that they would want or what it is that they would like. Um, there's a few challenges that they're facing when it comes to this, which you might not be privy to. So let's start your reader and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello uh, Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for October. So we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel, hello, oh, I can speak, <laughs> feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped, okay? Um, so if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that uh, and that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Lovely. So I'm just going to take these in uh, and I'll be back. So uh, Libra, let's start your reading. All right. So for some of you guys, I'm going to start by saying for some of you, this is um, a long term or, or an established type of relationship. Um, for some of you, it's I mean, it's a relationship, but I feel like it might not have been, been a long term relationship nevertheless it's a relationship that you have with this person whoever this is uh libra it seems like there is it seems like we've got the eight of pentacles which talks about um putting work into something something that you've already established with that queen of pentacles so you're definitely kind of putting work into this relationship um but you're showing up as the three of cups which talks about a third party situation. So there's definitely someone that's floating around, someone that you have your eye on, someone that you've been talking to, communicating with, someone that you have an interest in, which is having an impact on this relationship that you've already got, which is why you're kind of being a bit cold. We do have that Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords represents you know, the Queen of Swords is very much a, a, a dominant, um, a controlling, it could be a bit manipulative type of queen, high level thinking, um, keeping you at a dis, keeping that someone at a distance, uh, coming closer, but you know, know your place type of thing. And that's how you're, you're handling this person because at the moment we have that chariot card which talks about indecisiveness, this back and forth, unable to decide. One minute it's one thing, next minute it's another. Next minute, one minute I feel one way, one minute I feel another. So it seems like you're holding this person. It seems like they're trying to, because they're showing up as the seven, which talks about putting work into something, but it not turning out, it not, uh, it not be, it, it not turning out the way they would like. It's like I put work into this, I'm trying to turn this around, or I'm trying to maybe talk to you, or trying to do something but it's just not working out and that's because you've got your queen of swords energy uh, when it comes to this person they're being a bit defensive but it's causing them to now be defensive with that seven of, of wands protecting their self defending their self um like i said it's like they've got the, these two cards here where you're like you know trying to be you're being a bit cold being a bit bossy um, a bit controlling even, and they're just trying to kind of defend that off or, um, how do I put that, um, counteract that, um, they come back with, you know, yeah, you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. There is this solution that they feel that they have though, but it's like they're being patient with it. It's like, I'm not gonna, with that queen of cups there, 
I'm not go going to maybe act on this yet. Um, yeah. This, hmm. this relationship is not hitting the way it used to. Would that fall? Let's just kind of put it plain and simple. <laughs> this relationship is not hitting the way it used to and you want change. In fact, I feel like for some of you, I'm going to pull on that because the death card doesn't necessarily represent something ending. Uh, of course, it represents ending the death of something. But with the death of something comes a rebirth. So this is talking about transformation. You want change. You want transformation, whether it's with this relationship, whether it's with this person or not. You do want change because you're it's something's just not hitting. It's, it, maybe at one point it was, at one time it was, but right now for you, it's like, which which makes sense as to why you're entertaining or uh, your thoughts. For some of you, you've not gone the distance or you've not taken the action to actually, you know, exchange numbers, if, that, if, that's, if that's the case. It's more about maybe the idea of someone. Um, but for some of you, you've actually started to communicate with someone. You've actually got your eyes set on someone. Your person is not, it's like they're not sure what's going on. They want to move forward, but they feel stuck. It's like whatever it is that they do is not being, it's just not kind of making a difference. Like I said, they've got this solution here, but they find it quite challenging. So where do we go from here? Communication. I always kind of bring up communication because it seems like a lot of people have problems or challenges around really communicating with their partner. And when I say really communicating, I mean, you know, just being, I mean, this is your friend. If you're in a relationship with someone, you should be able, and you've chosen to be with someone, then for me, that means that to some degree, especially if it's a long-term relationship, to some degree, you're, you feel safe enough to express what's really going on for you emotionally and mentally with someone. Um, I'm not sure why you're not taking that route. I don't see any communication cards here, but I feel like communication is needed. Um, there could be something that this person has stopped doing, you know, especially when you're talking about long-term relationships. Sometimes we get a bit comfortable, a bit complacent. We don't put in the effort like we used to. If it's stuff like that, if it is that, then I would imagine this person owes, you know, you owe them some form of communication, some insight, because sometimes we can get distracted with work or whatever the case may be. If it's a case of it's just run its course, uh, same applies. There's nothing wrong with actually communicating with the person that, you know, my feelings or, you know, what I want has changed. And I would, you know, I want to um, explore my other options or just explore or just you know whatever it is um, that's going on for you but it's definitely a transformation a change and we're not talking about a light change we're talking about big transformation you're just wanting to yeah there's boredom here for you boredom um let me pull some of these get some the thing is this person has made a decision about you Oh, we've got that karma card there. <clears throat> for some of them, Libra, they, they think it might be karma that's coming for, you know, I'm not sure how you guys met. Um, yeah, this is um, stressing them out. We've got that nine of swords we were talking about. Sleepless nights, worry, stress, depression even. I'm highly stressed when it comes to just where you're at at the moment trying to what's what they're holding on to is what you guys have established the foundation that you've already established yeah there, there needs to be a sit down there really needs to be a sit down with this person <laughs> i can hear some of you say well they don't they don't deserve a sit down uh, they, they don't you know yeah i'm not sure why they don't deserve a sit down but this person has decided on you it's like this is this is someone that I'm in a relationship with. This is someone that actually brings some form of positivity or a positive impact to my life and to me. But for you, it's like I'm 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 ready to. It's just not doing it anymore for me. It really isn't, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, 
but I don't want it to be, if this is a long-term relationship, I'm going to put this on the table, guys, before we wrap this up. If this is a long-term relationship and you're just kind of in a, a cycle or a moment or, a, 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 how do I put that? You're, at, you're, at, you're just in a moment um, or a chapter within that relationship where things are not just hitting and you're wanting to run away, then that's a whole other story. I mean, do you just want to throw in the towel? I mean, relationships go through cycles. So you don't want to do that if that's the case. If this is something that you actually genuinely know that this person no longer fits you anymore um, and you would determine that, uh, then that's a whole other story. Then a conversation is needed. Not even... I can hear, again, some of you say, well, they don't deserve it. Yeah, they don't deserve it, maybe. But that would give you peace of mind. That will make sure that would give you, you know, yeah, peace of mind. That you've done the right thing, ultimately. Just want to pull one more card before I wrap this up. There we go. Just one more. Just wanted to pull on that. Got the lover's card there. Hangman. And we've got the two of wands, which kind of is interesting. The lover's card talks about attraction. Could be very different though. Um, which is where maybe the problems are lying. And we've got that hangman. So there's definitely attraction there, but there's a difference. Um, and there's a feeling of just kind of, not even so much feeling stuck, but not moving. Wanting to make a decision about this. That's that two. The two talks about decision. Just like they've made a decision on you. It's like, I need to make a decision about this. Because you know you can't stay in this space for, for, for too long. Yeah, it's not healthy for both of you. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, uh, Libra. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles next week, guys. Look out for that. And the part twos of these readings, I will be implementing. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to approach those. Um, yeah. So have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. Ooh.